Hello mm -hmm. everyone, it is Toby here, back for another episode of An Author Blocks. This, is, I believe, is episode 6, and I know in the last episode I said I skipped a day because I couldn't get an episode out, but it turns out I ended up getting the episode out in time anyway, uh, because I had a bit of luck there. And in today's episode, we are not doing any collabs, unlike last episode where we collabed with both Nerd and Nano, and that was really, really good fun, and I highly recommend you go watch it out. And in today's episode, we are not working on the project Remington left us at the Aesthetical Emporium, purely because it's a very big project, and we're still in the process of collecting all the resources up for it, especially since I died. And I have to say a big thank you to, first of all, uh, Mighty High for gifting me an elytra, um, and also Remington for putting some enchantments on some stuff for me because I have no levels and supplying me with some rockets and a further one to Remington for providing me with as much sand as I could ever need for doing that project because you know in the last episode me and Nano spent a good couple hours collecting up sand and gravel to do Remington's project and then I died because of lag and yeah but that is that now in today's episode it's going to be another solo episode working over in this area in my town and we are going to be working on uh, these houses over here. So we're going to be working on the houses on this wall here. Hopefully getting all of them done, but probably only getting uh, half of them done. Uh, what I might do is get these three done here and then get these two corner ones done at a later date because they're going to be probably a little bit more tricky. I might combine them into one big house, actually. haven't quite decided yet, but I'm really wanting to start seeing some more completion coming to this area just because... It is starting to look really nice on this side, but you pan to this side and there's absolutely nothing here. So I'm going to get working with uh, some of the plans for these houses, and I will get back with you once I've started work on one of the houses and I've got a plan in place. Okay, so with coming in with this first house on the end here, I'm going to go with a very, very simple sort of twin peak design. It's not, not going to be unlike this one, but only ever so slightly different, just because... Yeah, it's going to be a very simple small house that's going to go in the back here. Nothing too special. I might make this one maybe a little bit of a butcher's because there could be space here against the gate to have a bit of an animal pen. So, and we haven't got a butcher's yet. We've got a blacksmith in the middle there. We've got an inn and we just got a simple uh, house which maybe is like a toolsmith or something. It's got a grindstone and that sort of thing. But we haven't got a butcher's yet. So I'm thinking this might be a butcher's. I'll capture some pigs and some cows and some livestock to do. But, yeah, we're just going to work out what we're going to do with this build. So, I think we're going to go with a similar sort of style here, where we do something a bit like this. We're not going to make it that tall. It's going to be a pretty short and stocky house. But, yeah, I'm thinking something a bit like, yeah, a bit like this, where we come in with something like that. And maybe we have that be one taller just because it's on a slightly higher elevation to this front bit i think it could look quite nice but if we grab up our stone and andesite we can get something in a bit like that and of course our stone brick stairs have to go in and up there as well i'm thinking this could be the doorway here looking pretty nice it's going to be as i said a much much smaller house than those we've had before but I think all in all it's going to look quite nice. And on the side here we're not going to do too much detailing other than having our stone and andesite in here. Going all the way back up to that area there. That is too high. So it's going to be a bit of a flat wall. But I'm hoping that the detailing of the roof coming down here, obviously the roof is going to touch this wall here, shouldn't be too difficult. And when the animal pens here it'll look relatively nice, should be quite good. And we might end up having like a doorway back here that comes out into the animal area. You know where the butcher can get his stuff. And then I'm thinking this area here could be like the slaughterhouse bit. Uh, and then we have a stairway going upstairs where you can buy the meat products. I think that could be quite a cool idea. So if we build up this side here, we get our, our house looking nice. I'm getting a bit more andesite in this one than the others. Because as you can see, the others are mainly stone with one or two andesite. But this one, it's about 50-50. I'm thinking it could be a bit nicer to incorporate a little bit more of that andesite in because I do really like its texture and I think it is really nice. So this build palette I'm going to go for is going to be a bit similar to these we've got here but instead of oak and that sort of thing we're having a spruce log as our main our main log coming in here so if we come in here and have uh, maybe a three tall spruce log 
on either side. I think that could be quite nice. And I think instead of keeping it spruce, we're going to strip it, have it stripped spruce logs in there. I think it could end up looking relatively nice. And I think if we come in the front here, I think we make this a bit taller. We're going to have this as quite a tall house. So if we come up to here, about five tall, we can strip these spruce logs and get a bit of a shaping for our house in place. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that is going to look quite nice once we get the roof built up. I think we're going to go on this one, another dark oak roof like we have here, just because it is a slightly darker base to the build with the spruce logs, and I think it could work really nicely. If we get our uh, spruce trap doors out and place them in there like we do on most builds, I think it will look really, really nice. So if we just do that, just start adding in a bit of like that. This, I think this is going to be an interesting house. It's going to be very different to what we usually do when it comes to these houses. Because as you can see, these houses have side bits going on. It's purely going to be just a very front, pretty plain roof. But it's going to end up looking pretty nice. So of course, this being a butcher's, we're going to need quite a big oven area. So I'm thinking if we come in back here, just here, and we have a bit of a chimney going all the way up. So if we have the roof there, it'll go one, two, three. So if we go maybe that there, and then we need the campfire, which I haven't got yet, but we will get in the future. So for now, we'll just use a, an andesite slab just in there, just to place our trap doors off of for now. This is going to be a very straight uh, chimney. As you can see, all the others are a bit, a bit wonky. This is going to be a bit, of a bit of a straighter one. Another one made out of our stone brick. And then just on the top here, we'll have an andesite wall to finish it off. Like we have over on the other one with the dark roof. Bit of a bit of a similar chimney, that one. But obviously a lot straighter, a lot more rigid. And I think we'll end up looking quite nice. And if we come in here with our, our stone bricks, we can get in a bit of something like that. Just to make that edge of the house not look so boring. But obviously that's going to collide with the edge of this house ever so slightly. So it should end up looking pretty nice. We might want to make that a little bit taller. We'll see when the roof goes in, but I think for now it's looking quite nice. So, question is what material are we going to be putting between these these things? So at the minute we've got the quite, the, quite the plain sort of things. We've got some terracotta, some white terracotta, and we've got some of the uh, strips oak logs. Now, I was originally thinking oak wood planks, but now I'm thinking maybe sandstone could be a bit of a nicer one but I'll have to check that one out and see if it's too light because that might be reserved for something a bit more like this or, or like this with the oak pl uh, oak logs uh, maybe the spruce requires something a little bit darker maybe like oak wood planks or something like that but I'm gonna get trying with some of that sort of stuff and maybe make a bit more progress on the house and then I'll see you in just a minute okay so I made a bit of progress on this house here and you know what, I'm liking it. It's a little different from these ones over here, as in it doesn't have any of the jungle leaves, but I thought I'd take a break from that for this house. because so I tried it out and it didn't really fit, I didn't think. So we are using this uh, smooth sandstone. I think it looks really, really nice with the uh, strip spruce. It adds another texture for the houses so they aren't all looking the same, uh, which is really nice. And thank you very much, Mighty High, for doing that sleep. Um, but I think what really, really adds to this build are these uh, oak trapdoors and signs that sort of border the base of these top areas. It's something different that we haven't seen on any of these uh, builds so far. And it just adds something really nice to this house that I think I'm going to be keeping and maybe using on a couple of the other houses in this area. But not too many because I think it's quite a nice unique touch that really goes well with the build palette this build. I also got the roof in, which is a lovely dark oak. And I think it's a nice to have another dark oak house. Uh, and it's ever so slightly different to this one. So it's got a very similar front. Uh, to this one here with the the two uh, peaks but it doesn't have the side bit and it's got the same two peaks but I believe this one's higher up and it doesn't have the point on it like this one does because I tried that out as well and it really just didn't fit but all that remains to be done with this house now is add a door in the interior uh, plus a bit more detailing around the exterior and just sort of working out what is going on so I'm going to finish this house up and I'll be back with you once that's done alrighty so this first house which is a butcher's is pretty much there in a way of completion and I, yeah, it's, I'm happy with it. I, I thought I'd be like a sort of bit like I am with this house where it's like, it's there, it fits in, but it's nothing special. But you know what? I've actually, I've actually got kind of fond of this house ever, uh, whilst I've been detailing it. 
these pigs are just they're just chilling on the stairs but anyway yeah I'm actually really happy with how this house has turned out now that it's fully detailed we've got uh, open daily 9 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. got a pork chop to insinuate it's a butcher's and we got three pigs in here which all seem to love going on the stairs I might have to put like a fence gate across there or something to stop them doing that uh, in fact I will do that and I'll do that now whilst I am on recording with you because we can go into the into here into the house and I'll show you and on the way out we'll sort the pigs out so we've got the front door here it goes into this really quite small cramped shop area where it says all of the meats that we have and ask at the counter obviously this is just for show nothing's actually going on here I might come back and use this shell of a house uh, to make some sort of like chicken cooker or something just to provide myself a bit of a food source but if we go through here and I am warning you if you are a vegan or whatnot look away because Minecraft isn't a particularly violent game, but I've insinuated something pretty violent down here. So if we open up uh, the hatch in the floor, we've got a big chunk of meat in the basement here uh, with blood spots, you know, that gets cut up and served up the top in sort of like a, a bit of a refrigerated stone room down here where it'd be nice, nice and cold, stuff like that. And obviously before f electricity and fridges are a thing, this is how it'd be stored down in a big stone cellar room where it's nice and cold. And yeah, strung up on a rack there, using some nether rack and nether quartz all to insinuate some meat and some meats with some bones in, which is pretty nice, but we'll shut the cellar up there. And then if we go up the stairs, we have got the living quarters of the butchers. Nothing too special up here. We've got some bookshelves, uh, a fire, of course, because we've got the chimney, a brown bed this time instead of a white one, uh, a little bedside cabinet with a lantern on it, a barrel for a bit of storage. Looks a bit like a cabinet with the the handle obviously on there uh, a chest and a little chair and this is where the, these pigs are always clamoring up here uh, on this stair that goes down into the pigsty which you need to move so I can put this down here these pigs are driving me insane I don't want to punch you but I will do it right stay away from my, my house I think that should have been done from the off but anyway this house is now done and I'm very happy with how it's turned out it is a bit of a smaller one, but of course every every town and village has to have one. I'm probably going to extend these out to like there, but that means I need some stone under there, which I have. And then I think with that, this house is pretty much there. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Maybe we need to get some bone meal in and about here, but I'll do that in just a minute off camera. But the next thing to do, of course, is to start on this next house. This is a, a bit of a bigger one going to be a bit more grand and I think it'll turn out really nice so I'm going to get working on this and I'll catch you once I've made some progress okay so the, we got another house pretty much done up here this one is a bit more like this one over here but instead of using the stripped oak logs we're just using oak planks and I think it just adds a little bit more texture into this area because most of them have pretty flat walls as far as texture concerns but this one is uh, pretty nice and it fits in really nicely next to this one and is really starting to build up this side of the river. Um, it's not completely done as you can see we still got gra uh, glass to do in the windows and of course the entire interior. But as for now this house is pretty much complete. I mean, maybe need to add some jungle leaves uh, like on the other houses and maybe one there. I don't, I'm still not sure if I'm keeping this window. It depends how big this house here is going to be because it looks like it's going to be quite a big one. But we will definitely work that out in the near future. But I've added in a little bit of a log pile between these two houses. Because, of course, when you've got all of the fireplaces uh, that are burning all of this wood to have uh, the chimneys go, of course you need somewhere to store the logs. So we've got a little bit of a pile over there, as you can see just there. And now we've got another one just over here that is storing up a few uh, logs and a big one there. Uh, with a little lantern just to make sure it's nicely lit up and that just fills that gap between the houses quite nicely but I'm going to get on interior of this house and then I'll be back with you alrighty guys so the house is pretty much done I think it is complete and here we got a lot of lanterns around it but it looks pretty nice what we have built since the last time is we built a little outhouse here 
with of course the barrel which we're getting connection issues because I'm once again on my mobile hotspot but if you open that up it looks pretty cool and I'm thinking we need to add a few more outhouses around uh, and about the place just because out of all of the places I guess people could chuck it in the river but this river looks far too clean maybe that's what this cool dirt is you never know but this is our one outhouse in this slightly bigger house over the river here and we have done the interior as well I wanted to hold off on doing the decoration in this gap here until we got this house built which is what we're going to be working on next so if we jump into the interior of the house we've got a bit of like an entrance way a bit of a storage room with some barrels before we move into the main bit of the house down here we got like a bit of a living area living room so we've got a fire maybe like a meal prep area just here it's like, a, like basically the medieval equivalent of a kitchen counter where they go next door, buy some meat from the butchers, cook it up on the fire here, and then slab it up here to plate up and serve. Over here for the one person who lives there, aka me. So if we go up to the top here, we got the bedroom. We've got a double bed, so maybe more than one person does live here. A little bit of a handrail going across here. Uh, another cabinet, bedside cabinet there. Uh, a small like shelf with a flower on it. And a load of bookshelves, which Dat Nerd very kindly donated to the cause. And they, they just add a little flash of color into this area, which looks really, really nice. So if we jump over here, we got a little surface cabinet, which just has a barrel and a lantern in. A little cupboard, little storage area. And then in here we have a little bit of a study, which just has a simple table, simple chair, and three cabinets in the wall there. Looking out over the other side of our river at the inn. So, yeah, that is this house pretty much a hundred percent done now and we are now going to move on to this next house which is going to have a little bit of a tower in one corner which i think could end up looking really really nice so i'm going to get building and i'll catch you back in a minute okay so we have another house in place here this is going to be the final house we're doing this episode uh purely because i don't want this episode to drag on too long and this guy is being annoying let's get him anyway yeah, I have been kept getting uh, got by patrols that come out of the mountains. So maybe some point soon we'll have to do some sort of defense for that. Maybe a big wall or something. But yeah, they just sort of came out of the mountain there. Don't really know where he came from, though. I thought I killed them all off camera. But yeah, we've got a different different star house in here. It's a bit of a bigger, more grander one. And that is because this is going to be a bakery. So, and but like, bakery, bread, like, bread makers sort of thing but as you can see there's no way to grind up flour so there's no wheel uh, mill water mill um because we're actually gonna have a flour mill be this house here uh with a water wheel in this river so what we might do is might like divert the water down around here into a water wheel uh that's what i'm planning to do here and i'm planning this one to just be selling the bread so this is where they make the flour and then they buy the flour and uh sell it in this building here uh, or maybe this mill is just literally a mill so there's no living quarters and the people who live in this house here and also sell the bread come out every day and go and make flour in the mill here could be kind of a nice idea but that's going to be a next episode sort of thing these two houses because uh, I think they're going to be more challenging considering they're diagonal but anyway this house here we decided to go with a brick roof because I thought that is a roof we hadn't introduced yet and I was toying up the idea of having a spruce roof lead into a spruce roof and I was just kind of like no it doesn't really fit for me so uh, having the same roof type twice um, like here we could have got away with having a spruce roof and a spruce roof because they're not connecting but here they like intertwined into each other so having two of the same roof might have been confusing and like over here we've got dark oak roof and dark oak roof but they they're not touching at any point so there's never any confusion but yeah, so I decided to go with uh, the same build palette as this house with the uh, oak log and the stripped oak log. But this time we did oak log but stripped birch log just to give it that slightly brighter look. And then we went with the brick roof, which I think looks really nice. And I decided on this t uh, house here to add a bit of a tower in the back. And I think that'll add something really nice that breaks up the skyline a bit from just having flat roofs. So if we fly out and over... We can see that, yeah, it just adds something new to the skyline we haven't seen yet. So at the minute we've just got chimneys. And even though the chimneys add some variation, we don't have any towers sticking up yet. So I thought I'd add, an, uh, add a bit of a tower to this house. And I think it looks really nice. I'm happy with how it's turned out. And it's again going to back to that theory that there was originally a settlement here. And that these stone foundations that are more crumbly uh, towards the bottom 
uh, were once the settlement here, and then the people who have moved in here more recently have like refurbished them, built them back up, and put the wooden, more modern uh, house building techniques on top of that. But yeah, so we've got our typical uh, jungle bushes. I need to get some flower pots to put on them, but I used all of my clay on the bricks up the top here, and I also bought some from the uh, clay and brick shop. But I added in the typical slip windows for the towers, but this, uh, instead of over in the watch tower just having two, we had three, and they all go in like a bit of a pattern. We have that. Uh, on that side, we have the one. On the back, we have like three as well. And I was going to have it so it came, it jutted out on all four and had windows on all four. But I tried that and it didn't look quite as good. So I decided to turn it down and have it jut out just at the front and back. And I think that looks a lot better uh, with how it is at the minute. And I think that's how we're going to leave the town. We're not going to add any jungle bushes or anything. Because if you think about it, that's going to be way too hard to maintain. Like the bushes at this height, you can just whack out a ladder and do it. But a bush at the right at the very top of a tower isn't going to be practical. So I think the uh, tower is going to stay as is. But obviously the side of these builds are going to have more flower pots. And once this build's done, we can sort this area out here. Because this might be like where a path comes to get into a door here. Uh, but out the front of the build, we've got some hay bales stacked up. Because I thought with this being like a bread makers, they're going to need wheat and hay. But obviously this might now move over to the where the... Um, where the mill is going to be because that's where they're going to want more of the hay but I, I think I might leave it here it adds another nice colour in that we haven't had before and then in order to get into this house you just go up the back here and I still am yet to do the interior so I'm going to do the interior and that will be the final thing we do for this episode okay so guys the bakery is all finished up here and it is looking fantastic what I have done is over here on the edge I swapped out this window for a chimney made out of bricks just like the roof that might be a bit too much brick but I think what this once this house is built up here that shouldn't matter too much but what I have done so I've added in a bit of a cellar here and that is gonna be a future project that we will work on that is uh, gonna be an actual some sort of farm I think but we'll get to that when we come to it I've added in some grass and assigned to the bakery shop which is in here where we have a lovely oven which is uh, baking some bread some lovely baked goods all around here and of course the cake and then if we want to go upstairs to the living area we go through this door here and up here we got a lovely little lantern in that window and up here we got our typical bench uh, window seat sort of thing with a couple plants going on there, a bed, a barrel, one of these gems that we found, and just a lovely little table here. Nothing too fancy on this interior, quite a lot of open space, but it looks very, very nice. And if we come into here, we have a bit of a garden area, like on the house directly opposite this one. We're still waiting for these uh, bushes to grow up and produce their berries, but we've added some jungle leaf bushes down here, some barrels, a lantern, and some flowers down here. And then this just leads straight back into the tower area and back into the kitchen, which is all very nice. And yeah, it's looking pretty good for a bakery. I'm happy with it. And yeah, I think we've made some very, very good progress this episode with these three builds right here. This whole area is coming alive and looking very, very nice. And once these two houses are in here, the whole perimeter of the base will be done. And then we just have to have one more line of houses down here. And this area should be done. But yeah, anyway. I've been Toby. This has been an Author Blocks. And I'll see you in the next episode. Oh. Uh oh.